I'm Anita Wardlaw, and welcome to a fresh new day. Hello. Today on A Fresh New Day, we're talking about the awesome topic of missions <coughs> and miracles. I have with me today a wonderful lady named Lynette Steen. Lynette, Hi. I know that you've been involved in missions in the local level. In fact, mm -hmm. you've, I've had the opportunity to minister with you in nursing homes and homes for the disabled and mentally ill and right. the ministry that I head up, Mercy Ministry. That's Tell right. me, what do you like best about sharing the love of God? I think, you know, just seeing the change in their lives, um, a lot of it is even initially they get joyful and they see that, oh, life doesn't have to be as hum humdrum as it may be uh, seemingly from day to day. And um, the change in countenance and mm -hmm. um, inquiring of uh, more things about God. they. Mm -hmm they get inspired to to worship yeah which is really what it's all about <laughs> well the Bible says that God inhabits the praises of his people and you <coughs> minister with me in music all the right. time mm -hmm. and we've done puppet shows as well right now what's your favorite population to bring love to the elderly or orphans or disabled do you have a favorite well, you know, I've always been involved in uh, children's ministries since mm -hmm. I was a kid myself and in nursing homes because I've worked in nursing homes since I was 19 as a nurse. And um, both populations I've always enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And um, they seem to listen and warm up to me. Mm -hmm. and, um, right. Yeah. I first met you at my church in mm -hmm. children's ministry and you actually right. trained me in to yeah. be a teacher with the little ones. Oh, that was fun working with you. Yeah, I've always enjoyed working with you as well. Yeah. Now, we've had some awesome miracles that we've seen as oh, well. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you remember the time when an elderly lady came up to us and she had something wrong with her stomach and said, ladies, would you pray for me? Do you remember what happened? Yeah, I, it seemed like she jumped. Or I'm not really sure now right? exactly how it was, but she got lively. She did. Mm -hmm. The neat thing about it is that you are an, a nurse, so you actually are a medical professional as well as a volunteer minister as well. Sure. And so you can tell mm -hmm. if someone's faking it or if it's a real experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. ministered together. And the next month we came back, she came up to us with a doctor's report that she'd gone in for surgery, and the doctor said. You don't need you don't surgery. Need <laughs> That's right. And we had a surprise. You remember what that surprise was? She, not oh. only we prayed for her stomach, as I recall, mm -hmm. and she went in for her um, checkup pre-op, and the doctor said, the problem with your internal organism are gone, and yeah. we don't need to do surgery. Just and also, she said she went to her dentist, and she had a surprise, something we <laughs> We didn't expect. You remember that? Yes, I do. What was that? A gold teeth. That's right. A tooth, I think it a was. A gold tooth. Yeah. So that was kind of an unexpected thing. God put a filling in her tooth, and the neat thing is she didn't have dental insurance. And God does miracles. Yeah, he sure does. I had my Unexpectedly own. sometimes. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. Now, there's <coughs> a miracle that you were going to share, and I'm going to have you share about that. But yeah. the neat thing about you mm -hmm. is that you are a nurse. And you work every day as a nurse, and so you can tell if it's a real bona fide miracle. And miracles of God can be measured, right? right, right. It's you not just something you hope, mm -hmm. something that's real. If you go to a doctor and you say, I was prayed for, something changed, it shows up in the... It shows up. That's it's a right. physical change. So yep. we saw inside the woman's mouth, <coughs> and we saw that tooth, didn't we? Pretty sparkly. We didn't know <laughs> that she had a tooth. Um, that needed repair, but God knew that. That's, that's right. kind of God we that's serve, right. a really good God that Amen. gives us exceeding abundantly above all we ask or yes. think. Isn't that right? Yeah, well, hallelujah. Right. That's my own experience. Now, you yeah. had something you wanted to share, I think, about um, yeah. being paralyzed. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say about that? Well, um, a few years back, I had some hip problems, and um, one morning, I was, it was about 5 a.m., I was getting up, I thought I was getting up, 
for work and I was in a, like a paralyzed state. I could not move anything except my one arm over enough to reach the phone uh, to call someone because wow. um, it was quite startling. I wasn't expecting it at all. I thought, i got to get to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so I called this dear friend. Who was that? <laughs> you. <laughs> At 5 a.m. in the morning, I knew you'd understand. I said, I mm -hmm. need prayer because I have to go to work. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm not laying here all day. And I'm right. not going to the hospital either. So. Right. And I knew God is the miracle worker. And, yes. Um, and he hears, you know, he understands um, what we go through at the same time. We understand and know by faith, mm -hmm. if we put action to our faith, we're going to see results, and I right. sure did. So initially, we bound um, Satan from his um, preventing me from moving. Right. Because he's there to kill, steal, and destroy, the Bible uh -huh. says. And um, we spoke forth scriptures, like mm -hmm. in Isaiah 53, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. Mm -hmm. and First Peter 2.24, right. and um, also repeats the same thing in the New Testament, by his wounds we are healed. Yes. And we were pre repeating the scriptures, and we were also um, just praising God and believing for it to be all done. Right. And so I initially, you know, God will um, minister to some people in, in steps, mm -hmm. or, or maybe it's an initial uh, or an immediate I'm going to try to say immediate miracle, miracle mm -hmm. that manifests and maybe it's in s stages where it takes mm -hmm. a week or a year. Well, for me, it was a half an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so initially, I moved my toes or attempted to move my toes and my mm -hmm. um, heels mm -hmm. up and down in the bed and until there actually was some movement. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, well, we're going to just keep going here. Right. And, then and I you live by yourself, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so you were no really help. in a bad situation. There was no one there, and that's no. why one of the reasons you called mm -hmm. and you needed to get to work and you right. believed. Now, is, are you a special person, or do you think that could happen for anybody? Can God move like that for anyone? Oh, anyone, of course. Absolutely. He's no respecter of person. No, we just have to believe it. It's right. according right. to your faith, so you shall receive, right? Exactly. And even doctors say people that believe they're going to get well mm -hmm. are the ones that get well. Right. And those that say they're going to stay sick, undoubtedly, usually yeah. they're the ones that don't right. do well. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. The word does tell us about you know how important our words are. Because yes. our body will obey what we say. Right.